So today we are going to insert a Google slide into your web page on your website. And in my case, we're going to, for this tutorial, we're going to be using WordPress. So you want to be logged into your dashboard. If you're using WordPress, log into your WordPress dashboard. If you're using um, any other platform, make sure that you're logged in and you're in your dashboard. So for the Google slide, um, I'm assuming that you've already created it. And there, the reason why I created a couple Google slides, why I use them and rely on them heavily is because a lot of the websites that I work on, including my own, and today we're working within my own, a lot of templates come with portfolios, but they limit your design capability or the content um, as far as slide size and content, et cetera, et cetera. And if you don't have portfolios built into your template, then you end up getting a plugin. And the problem with the plugins, and probably why some of you might be here, is because the plugins, in order to access some of the more advanced features, some of the some additional colors or fonts, um, you have to pay to upgrade the plugin. So you're very limited by the plugin in, in some cases, not all cases. And it depends on what WordPress you're running or what site you're running and what um, the compatibility, compatibility of the plugin is. I'm sorry, I've had way too much coffee today. Um, so you can create forms and all that. And I also like Google Forms, which you probably saw one previously. So anyway, moving on. Google Slides. So I'm just going to pick a slide. And this is my personal website where I have a lot of my portfolio already set up. So we're just going to go on to a random page. We're going to create a new page, actually. And um, so I already have a gallery here, social media portfolio, virtual assistant, web design portfolio, etc. And it, it was kind of annoying to build these because they were so limited as far as font and colors. And if you don't want to go through all the trouble of importing fonts into your template, etc., this is Google Slides gives you a nice little shortcut. So we're just going to do an, a test page <clears throat> for the purpose of this tutorial. And then I'll obviously come back in and figure out where I'm going to plug that in if I actually need it because I think I have a lot of content already. So we're going to graphic and Photoshop. Oh, sorry. Graphic and Photoshop portfolio. And then we're going to go back into... And it takes a while to load when I'm running the screencast for some reason. I don't know if anybody else has this sort of trouble. I certainly do. So while that presentation is loading, here we go. Okay, beautiful. So this is my presentation. We don't need to go through the entire process of it, but I like these colors and these fonts, and they kind of represent my funky personality and my quirky self. And so here are some of the things, some of the projects that I worked on that I want to share within this portfolio. And let's see. 14 slide. I don't really think it matters how many slides you have. So then we want to, what you want to do is you want to publish to the web and make your content visible to anyone by publishing it to the web. You can link or embed. So I always go for the embed and then of course you want to get your little iframe code. Copy that. Control C. And do you want to start the slideshow every three seconds? I mean, you can go, you know, all, you can use any sort of options you want. Usually it will be lit up. In this case, it's not because I apparently already published this one. So you'll have to go ahead and publish. So, so start slideshow as soon as the player loads. I like that option. And hopefully that will take because I didn't realize I had published that already. But in your case, you'll, you will have to click on publish. And I'm not going to stop publishing it because I want to keep using it. And then you would go to your text editor. And it, it you can just drop it in there. Whip can follow. Allow full screen. So now I want to preview and see what that's going to look like. Because we want to make sure that it actually looks good. 
and my template's going to be a little bit different than your template, so make sure that you get the measurements right. <clears throat> and it already loads, so that's beautiful. And this gives them, the, this gives the user or the visitor, I should say, full control over the slide as well. If they want to pause it, they can pause it. They can continue on without having an autoplay. They can play. So this is pretty neat. I like this. And I'm probably going to convert all my other portfolios. And I'll just give you an idea of what a portfolio on my website currently looks like as opposed to what the Google slide looks like. And I, I really like the Google slide because you'll see the limitations. And in order for me to make this look like the Google slide, which is something that I really like, it just just takes more background coding that I don't really have time for, and I'm sure no, nobody else wants to be dealing with that. So you see the box is smaller, and then I've got these arrows that I need to change the color of to black so that folks can actually continue on through the slide. So so it just it's so much easier to use a Google slide. And look at that, it's taking forever to load because I'm running the screencast. But see here where um, the actual background picture has white in it? Yeah, I can't even find my arrow, so I need to come back here and um, edit the code and change that to black. But anyhow, so now we know. It's pretty basic. You go into your slide, you go to File, you go down to Publish to the Web. Once you, go to, once you get into Go Publish to the Web, you want to click on Embed. Choose your option, Start or Restart the slide after the last slide. You want to select the code, and then you're going to go into your page the page that you want to insert it into and you're going to make sure that you use the text editor. Visual editor is not going to help you when you're trying to insert a code but if you want to go back and forth between text and visual to see the size you're more than ha uh, welcome to do that. So here's what it looks like visually but initially you want to set that up as a text and then you want to go ahead and publish that. So once you've published that and it's not a part of my menu, so we're not going to see it here. We're just going to close this window. I'm going to go back here. And it's in the process of publishing it while I'm running a screencast. Who knows how long that will take. So that's pretty much it. And then if you want to see it, you can go ahead and uh, click on your link to view it. And boom, that box is much wider. It's uh, longer. It's, it seems like it's just a much better presentation for me, for my purposes, and probably for yours as well. But look at how beautiful that comes out, as opposed to the portfolio that was the portfolio option that's built into my actual website, which I can sit here and manipulate if I want to, but who has the time? So there you go. In a nutshell, that is how you insert a Google slide into your web page.